Alright, this is the idea that I've got now. This is this here represents the throat on the jig that I built that I've been using for hollow grinding. This is the sliding rear angle, this is the forward angle. Currently the wheel is in this area. Comes down across the blade blankets in there. This is the little shelf that when the hollow grinding blank is in there it only comes out about halfway and guides the blade. What I'm thinking about doing for flat grinding, I want to use my flat flatten obviously, and it's going to come straight down through this area. What I'm going to do is make a little carrier like this. This is a, indicated here, this is a quarter inch wide with a, for the knives that I'm going to use, the, the um, BK Skinner's is going to be 3 sixteenths of an inch leg right there for the width of the blank to sit on. And then it will clamp the blank to this carrier like this. So the blank will sit on that little that little edge, that little ledge right there, it'll sit on there and then be clamped by the handle. And then this part here will be fed through the jig up to the depth that I want the platen to sand. And then I'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And I'm intending to use these holes here because they're accurately located with the CNC. I'll just put some pins in this carrier. So I'll put a pin there and a pin there, and just it'll clip it. It'll just slip onto those pins, and then I, I can just clamp it quickly on the handle to hold it secure. And then the same thing down here. I'll have another pin and another pin there for the other side. What I was concerned about is without a without a carrier, I was have, I was thinking that. Once I get one side ground, as soon as I pass it into the the jig, the, the force of the platen will push it over flat this way and it won't get an even grind. So this way the knife will be clamped to the carrier with its flat side so that it won't flex and I'll get a good even grind on both sides. That's the idea. I should have this tested out here in uh, probably before the end of February. Got a whole bunch of knives to grind, so I'm trying to come up with a way to grind them all to a good, nice flat grind without spending forever on it and without having any errors. This is the profile that I'm gonna, I'm planning to use. It's 20 thousandths of an inch here. And then this is 3 sixteenths back here at the back of the spine. So it'll take a uh, 87 degree. It'll be eight, uh, the way I had my grinder set up, I'll set it at 87 degrees to flatten. So that I'm able to get that profile with these thin dimensions. Take care, have a great day. Thanks for watching.